This is one of the two Da Vinci XI systems, the most technologically advanced surgical robot currently available and recently acquired by the provincial government. The provincial minister of health and wellness conducted an oversight visit at Tigerberg Hospital. Authorities say, despite budget constraints, much progress has been made in surgeries carried out with the use of this technology. At this stage, they are focusing on the gynecology, which is like the cancers, the endometriosis, uh, the colorectal, which is that those who are affected with the colon and the rectum, and also the urology, which has been one that has been widely used. Uh, it's one of those kind of the operations that they do. They, they might do others, but these are the ones that are common. You can't do all operations around that. The clinicians have specific requirements when applying this technology. Particularly what we've done, um, you know, this is very intricate technology, is pick our most difficult cases within colorectal surgery, which is particularly rectal cancer. Um, this is where we're operating in the pelvis, things are very close together, very important blood vessels, nerves, um, and you want to do really precise surgery. So those are the cases we've picked to do this type of operation on. Two of the 603 patients who have been assisted with this surgery had been diagnosed with colon cancer. I was a bit shocked to hear it's a robot. Is that possible? Is it okay? And my doctor came to me and showed me a short video of what will happen. I was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2022. I then went, underwent an operation, a robotic operation. Uh, at first I had mixed feelings, knowing that I was going to be the first one, but Dr. Clear Wooden, what kept me up to date on the procedure, what was going to be done and showed me, kept me calm, and two years later, everything went well, everything went well with the operation. The Western Cape Department is appealing to Treasury to adjust its budget so that it can roll out similar technologies to as many hospitals as possible in the province. Mlamli Maneli, SABC News, Cape Town.